told my parents that I was going to be, uh, the hand from up beyond, thank you, that uh, I was going to be giving a talk here uh, for a TED Talk about networking. My mom smiled and laughed and went down into the basement and brought up this box. Now, in this box of uh, various boxes, I imagine my parents are kind of keeping a lot of stuff in mind, uh, in this bag there are business cards. Now, these business cards are actually, and ready for laughing, this one's, things that I collected from age six, seven, and on. Yeah. So these are all the business cards. Now picture in your mind a little red-headed kid walking up to people, asking their name, asking them what they did for a living, and they give me little cards. And I thought they were cool. You get your name on there, you get all these cool designs, and that's how they worked. I love networking. From the little age, I would start networking. Excuse me. And fast forward, it became kind of a life goal of mine to meet someone new, learn something different every day. I love that. That's how I keep networking well and how I keep my brain going. Just learn new stuff, meet new people. It's amazing when connections happen. Now, fast forward, the little red-headed guy moves to Rochester, where there's so many more networks, so many more people doing distinctive, cool things. And I'm a networker. I love talking to meet new people and connecting new people. So this guy who used to be on a farm is now talking to awesome artists and different, just crazy things I would never have thought of. You okay? okay. <laughs> so, now I'm here and my natural proclivity is to network. I'm having fun and making it. And as I'm doing this, I'm improving our community. Now how amazing is that? How fun that I get a chance to talk and be what I do and just have fun and the world gets better by knowing each other. So those that know me, I also have a thing I love doing as sharing ideas and sharing knowledge, especially if you follow me on my social media on Fridays, you'll probably find out that way. Um, a couple of laughs, I like that. So what I want to do is Help, he, help everyone here. My talk is to help bring the networking world a little closer for you and know how to do a little bit better. So as you go out into the lunch break in a little bit, I want you guys to have a little bit of help in how to network a bit better. I want to help you guys out. So things I've learned, passing on some more facts for you. So tip number one, a helpful attitude is your best weapon. Seriously, when I go out in the world, how I think about it, I'm out there to help everyone else. So when you guys go out, out for lunch, take a moment, think, I'm here to help everyone else. Now, half the people here are going, that's kind of counterintuitive, right? But you network about me. No, think about it. You need to go out there and help everyone else. And trust me, if you go out there thinking about it's all you, everyone will know it. So, number two, master the fine art of introducing awesome people to one another. This is one of the things I love the most. I love having an awesome person meet another awesome person. When they click, there's kind of a magic that happens. And the cool thing is, if you're the person who helps that magic happen, you look that much better. <laughs> Third part, too, is if they connected really well, they'll connect you with their connections. So win, win, win all around. Another one out here. Connect on a more personal topic. Instead of asking the person what they do for a job, ask what they do when they're not working. People love talking about what makes them happy. So instead of asking about, like I said, um, instead of asking about that, talk about what they enjoy doing and figure out. Um, when I meet people, it's amazing. I've met some tight-lipped people, and when I ask them what they did recently or a fun trip, they'll start talking for three, four, five minutes about their trip to Bermuda or their car they're restoring or whatever they want, love of art. So connect on a personal level, and it's much easier to get them to talk with you. Uh, for a little bit of bonus, if you want to think, talk to them more about their heart and it's even easier. Talk about their family. The really easiest one to think of, ask them about a pet. You are in gold then. <laughs> so, the thing, when in doubt, this is another one here. When in doubt, let the other person do the talking. People know the most about themselves and usually might talk about themselves. So, this is for the in, uh, introverts out there. If you find yourself, you know, not want to talk or even if you're an extrovert, you still want to talk that day. Let them do the talking for you. So, the thing is, I always tell people some of the best uh, conversationalists I've ever met in my life didn't say a whole lot. So, know the importance of body language. This one here, it takes a little bit of practice. But, you gotta learn how people's body actions move. And this is the question I get asked the most when people ask me, like, you network. How the hell do I talk to a group of people? It's easy, if you practice a bit. Now, here's the first trick. The easiest one to do it, the best advice I can give anyone to get in a group, a laughing group is the easiest one to walk into. Seriously, think about it. You'd be walking in, what's so funny? Walking in. But, when you're not a laughing group, it's a little more difficult. And this, where it comes into. If 
Two people are standing talking to one another. Face to face, they get flat to flat. That's very difficult to break into. So don't worry about those folks. Walk around, they'll break up eventually, hopefully. What you gotta look for is people standing slightly off. If he's standing here. No. So he's standing slightly on a kilter, kind of, and when you see those folks, walk straight towards them. So if you see a person standing slightly off, walk directly towards them. Smile, say hi. So that's body language. Just figure out what's going on. Now, it's not just them doing it. You've got to be aware of what you are doing. you got to know if, how you're standing. If I'm standing with my arms crossed, you may not walk up. Open your arms up. Stand. Realize if you're standing to your friend or your colleagues face to face, you're realizing people are walking past you thinking, well, they don't want to talk to me. Turn a little bit. Look around. See what's going on around you. And one of my best tips, put your phone away for five minutes. You can last about five minutes while being on the phone. Put it away. Everyone's looking at their phone, you may not think, oh, I don't want to bother them. Maybe you're playing a really good game as a high score. Right. <laughs> so, last one I want to bring up in this process. Learn the Goldilocks zone for eye contact. Got a little perfect timing for there. Goes this way. If it's too short, everyone thinks, well, I don't want to bother him. He's busy or he's got something else to do. Too long, and you are creepy. <laughs> so, find that perfect level. Now, the best way I say it is about a solid second. Uh, I haven't said a solid second. Uh, a little less, fall in that zone, but practice. If you get a little bit more a second, pretty comfortable. Uh, if my trick and tip for this one, for those who want to know it, is when you're going around these events, when you're looking someone in the eye, think of the word networker. And say it that way, networker. <laughs> okay. Think of the word networker. That's just enough time that you look at a person, networker, networker. Don't say it out loud because then you go back in the crazy zone. So this is in your head, remember that one, it's in your head. But the best thing I can give, the best tip I can offer you guys is not just for networking, but in life. Stop being who you aren't and just start being who you are. This world needs unique individuals. And this city loves them. I'm a weird guy. They love me here. So, hey, awesome. <laughs> so, this is the rule. Learn about living. As you guys are going out there today to talk at lunch, we're going to have a nice long lunch break. Think about it. Think about the way I talk to you guys. But remember, be yourself. Be confident. Be fun. If you guys are nervous, don't worry, I'm here for you. You can find me pretty easy. Uh, pretty much, you know, big guy, bald head, big beard. A lot of fine, pretty, pretty good. We also have a group here uh, called the Human Grid, and they are the ones that give the personality test that some people took at the beginning. Uh, they have a booth out there, they're also wearing awesome t-shirts. So I tell people, if you can't find me, go talk to those folks, pick their brains, and they'll help it out too. Pretty much that's how it goes. Now as we go out, I'm looking forward to the talk, uh, the lunch out there, because I want to meet some new folks. So please come out, look me up, have fun, and remember, networking is not a scary thing. Thanks so much.